Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan, and let's continue talking about Scream 6. Guys, we're almost there. We're only a few days away from Scream 6. Um, a couple days away, uh, or sorry, a couple, a couple of days ago, we were about two weeks away. Now we're less than two weeks away. The movie is officially dropping on March 10th. I know some of you have already gotten tickets for March 9th, so I'm pretty jealous. <laughs> you get to go see it a day before me. But uh, I got my tickets, so I'm excited. But um, I want to talk about and go back to a TV spot that dropped a couple weeks ago called The Cursed. Uh, this TV spot really focuses on um, Sam and Tara, but mostly Tara. And I kind of just want to give my thoughts on it after we watch it again. Um, but yeah, let's check out the TV spot. <laughs> How many stops do we have? This isn't like any other ghost face. What is this place? A shrine. We've got to lure him in. And then what? We execute him. But I'm something different. Come on! Scream. Only in theaters March 10th. Ooh, okay. So, um... It's going to get crazy. I'm excited. Um, I know you guys are just as excited for the new Scream as I am, but I want to talk about Tara's role for a minute in the new Scream movie because, you know, she hasn't been talked about too much, right, um, in her involvement with the movie. I feel like they're trying to make her a red herring in a way because, you know, she is Sam's sister, and... Being her sister, she kind of gives some really evil looks in this tra in these trailers. <laughs> like I remember, there's one where she's hanging over a balcony and she's kind of looking up, kind of evilly at I don't know who it is. I'm assuming it's Sam saving her from like falling. But uh, even in this picture right here, you can see on the screen she looks very menacing. And I think Sam is gonna have, or sorry, Sam. I think Tara is gonna have a bigger involvement in this movie than we know. Uh, you know, obviously, Jenna Ortega, she's a big uh, actress right now with the Wednesday and all that good stuff, you know. But um, I, I think that she is going to play a bigger role just in that she is Sam's sister. And I think they may even make her red herring to a point where you might even think she's a ghost face, right? A lot of people are specking, uh, spec speculating that online where they're thinking maybe she is a ghost face. We don't know, right? We People are saying that there could be one, two, or even maybe three ghost faces this time. And I think there's going to be three. Um, I did say in past videos that I think there's only going to be two, which I'm still on. I'm I, Okay, I should say this. I think there's going to be two ghost faces, but I'm not ruling out three. But I, I think they're just going to stick with two. Three would be really cool. We've never seen that in a screen movie. But then the next thing is, where do you go from that? Do you just do one? Do you just do four? Do you do six? You know, uh, but yeah, I mean, Tara's involvement in this movie, uh, I feel is going to get very involved and we just haven't seen too much of her yet. We've only seen glimpses of her in the trailer, just like everybody else, but they, they are making her out to be more evil in this movie, you know, with her looks and stuff like the picture on the screen and, and I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. I'm I'm here to see where, what they're going to do with her character and kind of develop it from Scream 5. Because in Scream 5, you know, she was just this stay-at-home teenager who was just finishing high school. And she gets attacked and stabbed by Ghostface. And it's like, that would be terrifying as a teenager to deal with that, right? So she also has a lot of trauma she's got to go through. Just like Sam. You know, we're always saying that Sam is the main character and she's the new Sydney and she's all this. But... We don't really talk about Tara too much. Tara's going to have as much trauma as Sam's going to have. I mean, she was stabbed her in her hand, stabbed a few times in her leg. You know, her leg was, her ankle or whatever was broken. I mean, like, this girl went through a lot. And we, I think we don't give her enough credit when it comes to these movies. So I think she's going to have a bigger involvement than we think. And I think that she is going to play a bigger role than we think as well, because we got to give her credit just like Sam. Everybody's focused on Sam, but we got to we don't forget about Tara because she was just as much the victim as Sam was. So 
And actually, Sam wasn't brutalized like Tara was, right? Amber did a number on Tara in Scream 5. So, <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, it's very, uh, it's crazy to think that Sam, or sorry, Tara went through so much more than Sam did. Um, yeah, Sam deals with some very psychological crazy issues, but uh, Tara was attacked hardcore and stabbed and all that, and Sam was not. So, but yeah, I just want to talk about Tara tonight and kind of just give my thoughts on her and, you know, how she's going to be involved in the movie. What do you guys think? Do you think Tara's going to have a bigger role in the movie than Sam? Do you think that she will probably just play kind of the same role that she did in Scream 5? Uh, just a, a lonely sister who got attacked, you know? Uh, do you think she's going to be a lot more grown up in this movie and more mature in a way of dealing with Ghostface in a better way? Um, but yeah, I guess we're going to have to find out when Scream 6 drops in March 10th coming up. We're excited. We're almost there. So anyways, guys, it's always good to hear from you. Um, let me know what you know. Let me know what you know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys about Tara and her role involvement in Scream 6. As always, my name is Nathan. If you enjoyed this video, like the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, as always, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.